got you. Yeah, they said it's all on you. Yeah, yeah. I just told him take the wheel. I'm just walking in my purpose on purpose. I got the faith, I know I'm worth it. But take my hand to peace. I'm thinking deep and really on this crazy surface. It ain't perfected, but it's perfect. I just told him take the wheel. I'm just walking in my purpose on purpose. I got the faith, I know I'm worth it. But take my hand to peace. I'm thinking deep and really on this crazy surface. It ain't perfected, but it's perfect. So today with us on Stewart Talk, we have a spotlight student athlete, one who's been putting in the hard work um, on and off the um, court, one who has showed um, hard work, dedication, showed that she's a great team player um, and that she strives to be great. Greatness is definitely inside her. Here on Stewart Talk, we walk in our purpose on purpose. And today, this student athlete is walking in her purpose. Today, we have with us the one, the only, Kendall Skyver. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing good. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so um, you've been putting in all the hard work on and off the court. Um, we've been hearing great things about you. We're spotlighting you today. Where did this basketball journey start with you? How old were you when you first picked up a basketball and was basketball your first sport you played? Um, yeah, so I've been playing basketball like as long as I can remember. My first time I played, I played at the JCC when I was three, turning four. And my brother used to play basketball. My dad played in high school. So like everybody around me played basketball. So it was really fun to get started on that at a young age. And I definitely think that helped me just yeah. have a great love for the sport. Yeah. What um, schools did your brother and your dad play for? Well, my brother, he played when he was younger. He was like, he's like two years older than me at this time. So okay. he was six. I was about to be four. And okay. he he hasn't been playing recently at all. He kind of gave it up when he was younger. But my dad played all throughout high school, Perrysburg. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was some great Perrysburg teams back then too. Um, what did, what um inspired you to start playing? Like, what did you like about it? Did you see them playing? So that's what made you want to play? Did you just pick up a ball and just start doing it? I think from a young age, I definitely just picked up the ball. I had fun dribbling around, just messing around, and, like, just taught myself stuff as I went. My dad taught me stuff. So, yeah, I just loved it. What do you enjoy most about basketball? To be, I mean, I love the fact that if you make a mistake on the court, like make a bad pass, like shoot a terrible shot, like you always have a chance to redeem yourself and you can like fix your mistakes and just be better from it and yeah. work to get better. So no worries about messing up a few times. You always have a chance to improve. So, so it seems to me, and from what I already know, doing my research, you have good confidence, and confidence is key, especially when your teammates depending on you to make a big shot. What type of leader would you say that you are? Would you lead with your play, or do you lead vocally? Um, to be honest, I, I'm not a too loud of a person. I try to be loud on the court, but I struggle with just being loud and using my voice a lot. But yeah, yeah I just try to command the court a little bit, like. As a point guard, I try to get the ball around as much as I can and create good looks for my teammates and myself, of course. Yeah, what other point guards um, influence you or do you look at that you like their game or you think you um, pattern your game after? I mean, I love Caitlin Clark, obviously. She's amazing. Paige, <laughs> like, they're crazy. And yeah. I love watching them and just watching college women's basketball. It's coming so far and everybody's loving it and I'm loving it. And it's, it's so fun watching it and trying to learn off of them. Yeah. Do you have dreams, aspirations to one day play? Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> how does it how does it feel to be spotlighted and to be looked at as um, a great player and looked at as one who works hard and one who um, is doing all the things that it takes to get better and to help her team? I mean, to be honest, I love it. I mean, getting all this recognition – at such a young age. I mean, I've been working my whole life for it. So it's super fun to find, you know, my work's paying off. Getting some recognition feels good. Yeah. Um, what sets you apart among other players um, when you're on the court? I mean, I'm a point guard and I'm like 5'10 with shoes on, with shoes on. So <laughs> I'd say I'm pretty tall for my age for a point guard at this age. I mean, I, I'm not selfish at all. I try not to be like... If there's a shot, 
for me that I believe I can make, but there's a better one for one of my teammates. I mean, I'll make that extra pass for sure and yeah. just be selfless. I'll try to be flashy then like a few times, but if that doesn't work out, then I'll just. <laughs> yeah, pass. I love it. Love it. Um, what would you say to one of your teammates that's down on themselves after a bad play, a turnover, a missed shot? What would you say to them? I mean, I would just say, like, what I said earlier, you have another chance. Like, you got this. Just, like, come back from that. Don't worry about it. Just forget about it and just keep working. Yeah. Can you share a memorable moment um, from this season or even in AAU play um, that, you know, really resonates with you? Well, so I play for Ottawa Hills and we play in the TAC and mm -hmm. we've gone three straight years from sixth grade undefeated. So this year was the third year winning the TAC championship and keeping it undefeated season. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Have y'all all played together? Yeah, we've been playing together for a while for sure. So we've all got that team. We're like a family and we just know where each other are on the court at all times and we just play really well together. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, what does hard work mean to you? I mean, hard work, I believe that if you put in the hard work, like you will succeed and you will do better. So it's worth it. Yeah. What part of your game do you feel like you need to work on to improve? Um, I'm working on my shot a lot recently, just trying to get like my form perfect, solid. And definitely try to talk more on the court and just be more vocal. Yeah, and one thing I'm learning just in this little bit of time, um, interviewing you, you, you saying the right things that a great player recognize. You don't think you know it all. You like, yeah, I need to work on this. I can do this. I want to get my teammates involved and make the extra pass. That's that's stuff that you can't teach. That's inside of you. Um, what does family and their support mean to you? Family, that's all of it for me, to be honest. I mean, my parents, my grandparents, my brother, they're all great. They'll come watch me. They'll come make the extra two-hour drive to come see me play. I mean, it's a lot for sure. My dad, especially him, he'll wake up at 6 a.m. with me to go to the rec. He'll just – he'll rebound for me any day of the week, anytime if I want to work on it. Like he'll, he's always there for me for sure. You putting in that early morning work when everybody else sleep and rolling over you at the gym. I love it. Wow. Oh, where, yeah. did that, where did that come from? Like, did you like doing it or do you be like, Oh, let me go get it. Or is that something you just wake up? Like, yeah, let's go to the gym. Let's get it in. I got to get these shots up. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's, those 6 a.m. are tough. <laughs> like waking up before school, getting out, like make shooting for like 45 minutes coming home, showering, getting to school, and then I got basketball practice after school. Yeah. It's, it's it was definitely a lot, but it was worth it because yeah. I've seen my shot go far. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's going to definitely pay off. Um, looking ahead, what are your goals for basketball? Um, it could be AAU or this season or just in general as a player. What are your goals? I mean, I hope to go as far as I can with basketball. I love it so much. Going college would be my dream. D1 especially, that would be amazing. Just that's my dream for sure, just to keep playing what I love. What does Coach Nikki mean to you, and what does her program mean to you? I mean, I love Next Play. Coach Nikki is great. She's always so motivational, great program, great teams. I love Next Play. It's so fun. Yeah. Um. Tell us about your uh coaching that you won the championships with out of Hills. What does is it he or she? Well, it kind of like switched around every single year. We had a different coach. Okay. Well, last year, what did that coach mean to you, and how how has he helped you? Uh, it was a girl, but she she was a great like she was a good coach. I mean, obviously, she took us to the championship, but I think it definitely helped that we've been all together since like fourth grade or fifth yeah. grade. So how do you not be uh, complacent on winning a championship but still be hungry for next year, being that these other schools are going to be trying to come after you all? I mean, we obviously know the pressure. Like, we've had to try to work to, to keep getting back-to-back. -back. But next year, we all know that the transition is going to be tough. High school, I mean, bigger girls, it's definitely nerve-wracking. But I think if we all stay together as a team and we just keep working. Yeah. 
like what would you from. what would you say to a younger girl that's um starting basketball or even one that's playing basketball um to keep her head up if she wants to be the best or she wants to be a great player what would you say to her I would say don't be too hard on yourself I mean put in the work of course don't put in too much work that you're going to lose your love for the sport yeah. definitely don't press or push yourself so hard every single game don't be so hard on yourself just enjoy the game and just yeah. love it how do you balance schoolwork, practice, even getting up early in the morning before school and even being a teenager? How do you balance that to keep yourself, you know, strengthened, encouraged and energized? I mean, some days it's pretty hard for sure. Um, some days it's hard to wake up, of course, in the morning and get that work in after a long tournament. But school for me is the first priority. School, then basketball and athletics. So I'll put that work in at school first, then I'll come home and worry about basketball. Yeah. Well, we thank you for this time that you've given us. We're spotlighting you for all your hard work in the classroom, on the court, as a leader. You know, um, continue to lead your troops, continue to get better, continue to get those shots up, because one day we'll be looking at you, Kendall, as we look at the, um, you know, the the NCAA, WNBA, you will be there because you can get there and just believe in yourself with hard work, you know, no matter what, have that confidence in yourself to be the best you can be and just keep going forward. Yeah, for sure. Yep, yep. So thank, thank you. you.